Alright lads, so the end of year celebration has officially started and with that we have some very good banners going on right now for new players, players that want to start the game potentially today or within the next two weeks to take advantage of. Because right now as a new player starting the game today, you can get your hands on five multis to go for and also a choose a six star summons allowing you to pick ten six star characters and get one of the ten that you have chosen. This right now is the best time to start rerolling and that's why we have a new updated reroll guide because recently within the last two months, Caleb have changed the reroll process allowing pretty much any device to reroll consistently compared to the old method. The old method included you going onto an emulator, rooting your device, going through the files to skip a massive download. Now with this new system, you do not need to do that. So that means whether you're on iOS, Android, an emulator, or even Steam, and even PS4 when Bleach Brace Source does come to a console sometime hopefully this year, you'll be able to reroll very easily just by watching this, guys. So with that said, lads, let's jump straight into it, teaching you lads how to reroll on Bleach. Brave Souls. So the first thing you want to do is go to your designated app store. So whether that's on iOS, Steam, PlayStation Store in the future, or on Google Play. And search for Bleach Brave Souls. And make sure you do download the one that says Bleach Brave Souls Anime Game. Not to be confused with Bleach Brave Souls Popular Jump TV Anime Game. That is a joke, by the way. They don't call the game that anymore. Once you download Bleach Brave Souls, you will then be taken to the title screen where they will then play the opening for the game. Personally, I recommend watching the intro because it's very nostalgic for many players like myself that have been playing this game for many years. And you also won't be able to see the intro again after this part unless you go search for it on YouTube. But if you don't care about that and still want to skip it, then by all means, go ahead. And once you do, you will then have to go through the tutorial. Now, the tutorial itself isn't the longest tutorial. Essentially, what you will do is complete one very short quest where you go against Fishbone. D, you defeat him, then you'll be taken to the summon screen where you can pick an OG character. Now, most of these characters, if not all the characters here, are very outdated. You're never going to use them outside of just getting the orbs. So the character I do recommend you lads pick up is Chad. Chad is pretty much the only character in this list that you will eventually use sometime in the future. And it's not because he's good, it's mainly because he is a bonus character in a certain game mode called Chronicle Quest. Now, Chronicle Quest, when you start taking the game seriously, is something that you will farm every single month. And over time, whether you're playing for the next month or so or potentially another year or so you want to make sure you eventually collect all the characters on your screen more specifically the ones that have the bag next to them they increase the drop rate when it comes to farming these items and you eventually just want to get all of them because these bonus characters never change so out of all the characters you can select as your tutorial summon chad is pretty much the only one that is somewhat usable because he's always going to be a bonus character for chronic quest if you don't care about that and you want to pick your favorite character then by all means go ahead but do understand all these characters are significantly outdated and you will pretty much never use them after you pull just a normal six star but once you do select your character you will then be taken into another quest where you have to use that character and then defeat another hollow that i forgot the name of i'm sorry don't call me a fake fan you will then complete that quest and Rukia will congratulate you on completing the tutorial and then you'll have to do a massive two gigabyte update and depending on your internet speed this might take a very long time but luckily, once you do complete this download, you will never have to do it again unless you just delete the game. So once you do complete this download, you will basically be done and you can now go and play Bleach Brave Souls. So what you want to do when you first start the game is go to your gift box, claim everything in your gift box, then go to your orders and claim everything there. And that will give you 260 orbs. On a normal day, this would be basically equivalent to like one multi's worth. Now, depending on when you do reroll, your summon screen will be looking different and the amount of orbs that you do get will also be different. But for those that are rerolling during January 1st and within the next two or so weeks, this is what your summon screen will look like. You have access to a bunch of banners, including a lot of free multi. So the first thing you want to do is do the first free seasonal Brave Soul multi. I'm not sure the exact name of it. You don't really care what you do get here, but if you do get a five star, it's just an added bonus. You then want to do a choose a six star summon where you can pick a six star character. You pick 10 and then you get one of the characters randomly of the 10 you have chosen. Once you do get that character, they will come out at max level 200, so you will have 75 orbs waiting in your gift box. Go and collect that, and at this point in time, you'll have access to 335 orbs. Now, the two banners you want to summon on is the Pulse Selection banner, and also the Spirits RFF With You banner. Both of these banners include some of the best characters that are even available in this game right now within the last year or so. Pulse Selection includes premium and seasonal characters, characters that are more common going forward into the future, but still very good value, and then 
the other banner the spirits off fvv1 includes novel characters that are somewhat more rare than the average premium and seasonal character so i do recommend more so focusing on the spirits off fvv banner but do keep in mind is that the post selection banner is only here for another two or so days so if you are watching this video within the next 40 hours then maybe prioritizing the post selection banner isn't going to be a bad thing but with the orbs that you do have and the fact that the post selection banner and also the spirits off every banner include a first step free your first multi is free you can do a free multi on the post selection banner plus step one for 150 orbs and then you can also go into the spirits off every banner and then do another free multi and then another step one for 150 orbs so overall in terms of this reroll if you do it in the next 48 hours you have access to a choose a six star summon a free seasonal multi two multis on the spirits off every with you banner and also two multis on the post selection banner giving you like around five multis for just rerolling it's the best time to start now in the off chance that you don't get what you want and i'll talk about what you might want to reroll for in a minute all you have to do is just go back to the title screen click on that bottom left button and erase player data this will take you back right from the start and you'll have to complete the tutorial again although the biggest difference this time is that you don't have to do the two gigabyte update instead that now becomes 18 megabytes and that's the biggest difference between the old reroll method and the new one is that you don't have to go into the game's files to delete a certain file to then skip past that two gigabyte update now you can just do it on any device you can do it on steam mobile even console when it does eventually come out and that's the great thing about this the reroll method does still take like around 10 or so minutes just to get into your multis but it's still significantly faster and this without a doubt is the best way to reroll and in the off chance you are still confused exactly what you need to do let me give you lads a quick recap so you install the game you finish the tutorial including the two gigabyte update you then go to your gift box your orders collect all the orbs there just collect everything then go to the choose a six star summon get your character go back to your gift box get the 75 orbs and then you have five multis to spend so do your free seasonal multi your free post selection multi and also your free spirits off every multi then you can do another step on post selection and another step on spirits off every you and keep doing it until you get the character you want and now you might be wondering what characters should you be rolling for well the thing is do understand depending on what you are watching this video it's always going to be different but the best idea Idea is to always re-roll for the new end of month characters those characters that come out at the end of every month are normally good enough to start with however the best times without a doubt to re-roll are during july 23rd for the 7th anniversary or potentially 8th anniversary if you're watching this in a year time and then also the end of year banners because those always include some really overpowered characters but either way if you're not starting during a massive celebration the best time to start is always going to be at the end of the month but for those that are watching this video at the current time and you're wondering who you should re-roll for Here's a quick hit list on what you should go for. So as you can see here, we have three tiers of characters you should be going for depending on the banner you are summoning on. So to choose a six star, by far the two best characters you can get from the choose a six star summons will be either the fifth anniversary Ichigo or Byakuya. If you get any of them, that's a great start. Although do keep in mind that they will potentially be common sometime in the future. If you don't get them, it's not the end of the world. Then we have the post selection banner, which does feature six anniversary Aizen and also Arpik Ichigo. I would more so actually recommend going for Arpik Ichigo over Aizen right now because Aizen will be featured in a new banner in two weeks time within the next two or so weeks so if you get up because you go maybe then focus on the spirits off for every banner and focus on getting Aizen in like two or so weeks time because as a new player you have a plenty amount of orbs to farm but I think the most important character you should be going for right now at this very minute if you are watching this video within the next two weeks is Retsu, Kenny, and also Tsukushima. The reason why I say these three specific characters is because one, Kenny and Unahana are great, some of the best characters in the game right now. Uh, Kenny is also a Brave Battle character, and so is Tsukushima. Having both of them in your team will pretty much potentially carry you to 30, well then you can start farming editing rushes to start maxing out your accessories. But the main reason why you want to get these three specific characters, Retsu, Kenpachi, and also Tsukushima, is because they are currently bonus characters in the end of year point event. Point events are something where you are probably going to have to farm every single, every second week when we do get a new one. Uh, you always want to get to 3 million points just to get the max rewards possible. But if you ever have bonus characters, those that increase the amount of points and rewards you do get, you want to go ham. As a new player, starting off with potentially free bonus characters is probably the best thing you can do for the future of your account. And the reason for that is because having bonus characters increase the amount of points you get in the point event and also increase the amount of drops that you do get as the lottery reward and those lottery rewards can include summon tickets for accessories and also characters so in the off chance you get very lucky and you have free bonus characters 
you could potentially go and buy a fourth one from the support ticket, but three is definitely good enough, and you want to go hard on this point event. You want to make sure you spend every soul ticket that you have. You want to spend orbs and soul tickets to get as much points in the point event as you can to then get a bunch of summon tickets that you can use for characters and or accessories, and this is probably the best time to boost your account from the get-go within the first two weeks of starting and that's only if you have bonus characters right so it's very important you do go for these three characters because that would then give you like a 150 percent increase on the points and if you farm this point event you spend orbs in the point event you will make those orbs back and you will also start collecting your roster of five star characters someone that i know one of my friends envy i believe spent six thousand orbs in the point event and literally no life the game to get a billion points and at that point he had like five thousand summer tickets where he then made all his orbs back so the best thing you can do for a new player to kickstart your account is to start off with as many bonus characters as you can. This is the current bonus list for this current point event and three of them are summonable on the Spirit Sapphire banner. If you have three bonus characters and you spend all your orbs and time and soul tickets on that point event, you will walk away with a lot of potential summon tickets where you can then get a lot of five star characters, some old, some new. It doesn't matter because they will give you orbs and max in their level and you will literally make your orbs back. And that point in future point events, you will have those potential characters characters that might appear as bonus characters to then start farming those point events. So that is the best thing I could advise for any new players trying to start Blaze Brave Souls is to try and start with the newest characters because they just give you more points in the point event and you get more rewards. But at the same time, if you just want to go for your favorite character, then that's perfectly fine too. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully this was able to help you out in terms of re-rolling. Again, if you're still confused on anything, I will try and answer it in the comments below. But I'm pretty confident with this video. It should give you a guide on what you should start off with and how to re-roll in Bleach Brave Souls. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.